welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us. One big, happy, exciting family that we are. I'd like to mention that I do have a private Facebook group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. Also, if the video is too fast for you, you could always go into the description box below the video. There's a two minute link. It shows you how to slow down the video and also to pause the video, have your closed caption turned on, take notes and take it from there. I do not write patterns for that reason. I put closed caption on. You guys can pause, take notes, and it helps you to slow down the video and go with it. Remember, everything is possible to create. Some people might say, I can't do that. That's just too experience or too, you know what? It's by there that you can gain the experience. And sometimes you'd be surprised at yourself, actually. Um, another thing I want to mention, I also have a Facebook page. You can follow Instagram and TikTok. Sometimes you guys create certain patterns and you're stuck, not just out of my own, but other people's. And I have a few of you that message me on Instagram or on my page. So, or in my group, of course. Um, so you're more than welcome to do that if you're stuck. I am here to help you. So no issues. Um, you can follow me on all of those social medias. And please do share the videos. Sharing is caring. The more we can invite friends and family, the bigger we can grow. It helps us creators to keep going. It's a way of gratitude towards us. And we highly, highly, gratefully, you know, appreciate all the help that we can get. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. They only sell them here in Europe. They're similar to Aunt Lydia, number three cotton. Mine's a little bit thinner, so my pieces become a little bit smaller. Remembering that when your tension is too tight on any project that you do, use a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If it's too loose, then cut down on the hook, uh, a size uh, smaller or two. Uh, in order to tighten up your tension. I get questioned a lot about these balls of thread. They're 100 grams, equivalent to 300, 325 grams. They go for $12. Minimum of order, which I'm shipping them out, are uh, six balls because of the shipping costs. It's horrendous. It's crazy. Uh, what can I say? I don't own the post office and the uh, shipping uh, company, right? can't beat them up as they say so if you're interested let me know uh in the description box there's all the informations like i said there's all my social medias there's also my email and patterns that i do create and you're interested to buy them you could also email and get a hold of me i do sell them okay so uh for the most part i use 2.75 hooks sometimes three 3.5 pair of scissors to cut in, uh, cut the loose ends, and of course a small one to tuck in loose ends. Okay, let's get started everyone. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up on the video. I know that quite a bit of you like to watch my videos, but you got very lazy fingers or thumbs to give it those thumbs up. Help out the creators, not just myself, but many others that do need the help. Okay, costs you nothing, it's for free. Thank you everyone. Oh, and of course, thank you to all the women that came through for helping the other women in need of thread um, by donating. I also have the PayPal account below. You can donate for some of you that are considering or haven't yet. And below the video, there's a little bag of thanks. That's donations uh, to be also received, but that belongs to YouTube automatically. They take 30% off of whatever you're giving. So for that reason, I have the PayPal account below because they don't take nothing. And it's more for the women. I also want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the ones that have been tipping me for my work, for my services and my time here, dedicating myself almost day in, day out for you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I've decided to go ahead and do the tank water toilet cover. I have done already a set in the past and have done the toilet tank water cover. This will be a little bit different because it's got hearts. 
So 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in, loose ends, and a small pair of scissors. Thank you for being here, and please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free. So we're starting off with a granny square. Now, you need to measure your top of the tank because every country has different sizes or different models uh, becomes wider or smaller so you would measure the top of your tank and do your granny square accordingly to the size and also the width now if you're doing the width but you need more of the length then you would just continue from here on and you wouldn't do as much as the wideness of the lid right because this goes on top of the lid and we're going to build the rest of the body so you could continue on from here one side and then the other side okay this one has 14 centimeters okay so i'm going to create three i should have enough hopefully for that size because it's in canada and i'm not sure exactly if it's going to be the perfect size but it should be more or less it's like the standard size more or less so that means i will have um, to create three and so i think i should be okay as far as sizes go on this so 28 and then 38, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should give me about 42 centimeters. I think I should be okay because I think the standard is like 40, something like that. So very simple to create the granny square. So you'd want to do your magic circle, how you started off with four or five chains. You don't want a big gap in the center of the circle so it has to be nice and tight so i've closed it with a slip stitch coming back in creating a single two chain that's my first double crochet and i'm going to create four groups of three double crochet two chain space and then again three more double crochet to create my four corners of this granny square two chain and three more double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So I should have my four groups now. Closing in, and I'm going to do a double crochet sideways, but you can close with a slip stitch on there the reason why i'm doing this i want to start right from here i don't want to do a slip stitch to the corner so i'm going to go up one two two chain that's my first double crochet creating my corner again with three double crochet two chain coming back in the same space create three double crochet so i have my first corner created two chain going into the second corner and create my second corner again two chain come back in so we're doing shells inside of the corners of three double crochet two chain and three double crochet so i have my second corner created chain two and create your shell again on the corner so we're doing the exact same thing on four corners Cutting my thread and coming back in with the red. Okay, everyone, so I've done the gray, the two rows. I'm going to come in, back into the corner. And we're just going to repeat again the same thing. Create your shell on the corners, all four corners the same. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So it's going to be very easy. I'm going to have four rows, is it four rows? One, two, three, four, five rows of these. Two chain. Now, like I said, you need to measure yours and see if you only need four rows, okay? Two chain and continue 
Again, the same thing. Create your corner shells. Two chain and again. So I'll meet you at the end. So I've reached the end. I'm going to come inside of my stitch and I call it the walk. Slip stitch to the center and create your shell. So on my fifth row, I'll come back to you. That's when we're doing the uh, attaching to the other ones. Okay, so it's just a repeat now of the same thing what we've done. Nothing else. And then we'll do the attachment on my fifth row. Okay, everyone, so I'm on my fifth row. I've started my three double crochets on the corner, and I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come back to back. I'm going to come right in the corner and do my single. Come back in on the same corner to complete your shell with your three double crochets. I'm going to do one chain, and I'm coming in the first uh, two chain space on the back one and then into the front one and create my three double crochet groups one chain coming into the back one single coming into the front and create again your three double crochet one chain into the back single into the front three double crochet we're going to do this until we meet at the corner the same way as we did here so basically we're at the corner i'm going to do my one chain Coming in the center of my shell in the back, coming back in, complete my shell in the front. And it's pretty much attached, remembering that once you put this over the lid, it's going to be stretched out, right? And then continue um, to do your groups as you've been doing to chain and complete your, your square. Okay, so simple. And then you just continue until we close off where we started at the beginning. Okay, everyone, pretty much finished my square all the way around. So I am here on this one. Where we've closed off. I'm going to do the walk to the center here with a single and two chain. This is my first group of three double crochet. And then I'm coming right in the center between the squares and one inside of the other um, two chain shell. So I have a group of three, two chain, coming into the next one, creating my three double crochets. And we're going to do all the attachments like this, one in, one in the two chain here, one in the center, and one on the shell again. Two chain on the corners when we get to it. Okay, so we're just going to repeat the same thing. I'll meet you again here in between the connection, so you'll know for sure. So I'm arriving at the connection. So two chain, I'm coming in where we have that two chain shell, one double crochet, one 
in the center here and one on the other two chain shell. So you have your group again. Two chain and proceed, continue on. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing. When we get here, we do shell, we continue on. And then I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, it's just little groups of shells now. And do shells where we have shells. Okay, everyone, so pretty much reaching the end here where we've started. I did my two chain. Remember, we did a single and two chain. So I'm going to close it up with a slip stitch. So now we're going to do the walk to the next space, single, two chain. We're going to repeat exactly what we just did on this row. Create the little blocks, two chain, where we have the shell on the four corners. Do your shells. Now, normally, the size of the wideness of that top lid, it's supposed to be like trying to see. So it's about like 30. Uh, between 20, yeah, 20 and 30. So some of you might have wider lids. Some of you might have, you know, smaller lids. Um, so I'm going to do 20 centimeters on mine. So this would be like the size of that uh, top lid. It usually comes out of the tank a little bit more around that. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this row again. And then coming to the corners, we'll do the shells. Always a two chain and three double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much completed my row again. So that means I have two rows done from the squares. That means not counting the square, two rows. I'm going to do another row. This time I'm just going to grab it on here and do my sideways double crochet or you can do the walk with the slip stitch into the next space i'm going to do my group here and then we'll continue on i'm going to start on the next row to do the curving of the sides of the lid so it's going to change up a bit so we're just going to repeat this row again the same thing to get the right size now like I said, some uh, toilet lids or some toilets are bigger. I'm looking to have a 20, 19 or 20 um, centimeters on here or inches if you want to put it. So I'm not too far. Doing this row will complete my 19. Most of them are standard size. And normally the length, usually it's 20. 19 to 20 so I'm 18 and a bit but of course by stretching of course once it's blocked it's going to stretch more so you have to be careful on that too see just by stretching the way I did I'm at 19 already and if I stretch a bit here also see because once it's blocked it will be bigger almost at 19 also so I'm gonna do this last round and then we'll start to do the curving on the edges okay everyone so I pretty much closed in now from here so I'm gonna put a little marker here you don't have one you can put a piece of different color of string and put the other one here so 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops of two chain. Okay. And then I have, of course, the group. I'm putting a marker because I'm going to use these four. So one, two, three, four. On your fifth one, put a marker. That means we'll have one, two, three, four groups inside in between the markers. That's more or less the center of this middle piece here. Okay, now we're going to continue. I'm going to do the walk, or you can do the sideway double crochet, make things easier. Coming in the center, creating those single two chain and doing the three double crochets. Two chain. Coming in the next one, create your group again of three. Where I've put the markers, where I'm starting the foundation of my heart. And I'm only doing the front, I'm not doing the back, the back part, there's no use for it because it stays in the back. So where I have the marker, I'm only going to do two double crochet. Okay. And then on top of the double crochet, the three double crochets, we'll have a total of seven and two here on the side also. So two at the beginning, three and two. We have seven double crochets, chain two. Coming into the next space, creating the group of, of the um, three double crochet, two chain. Here again, I'm going to create two double crochet and on top again I'm doing my seven this is the top of the heart okay and two inside of the space just like that you can take your marker now you don't need it anymore it's just to make sure that you know where you're putting so this is more or less in the center of this middle square. Then you continue to do your blocks until we meet at the corner here on this row. We need to start curving our edges. Okay, so I'll meet you here on the last one. So I've reached the last one now from the last seven, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and my nine blocks. Okay, so this side should be nine also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Coming to the edge here. I'm going to do one two chain. I'm coming in the center of this corner here and doing a single one chain coming back in with another single two chain and creating my three double crochets. We need this to, to bend afterwards to form that edge corner. It's not pointy. It's going to be round and then you do the same thing to the four corners. So create your groups and I'll meet you here on the last one. We'll do exactly the same thing what we did. So I've reached the corner again. That means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups, two chain. Coming in the center of my shell with a single, one chain, and again, another single. Two chain coming on the first two chain space and create my groups again. So we're no longer doing shells, right? I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other two corners and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the end. I'm going to do that sideways crochet again. If you want to do slip stitch, go ahead and go into your next one to create your uh, three double crochets. Single two chains, so I'm starting again my group of three 
double crochet to chain space create your group again to chain now I'm heading where these seven double crochets are so I'm only doing two inside of the space and one per stitch four five six seven eight nine ten eleven to chain and repeat the same thing doing the eleven double crochets also okay so we're just going to repeat and then again the two double crochets here in the block and then I'll meet you back here at the end because it's just a repeat now okay so just do your 11 double crochets on this one also neighbors are playing music dogs are barking there's never a dull moment in this place um, I think on every recording I have there's always some sort of action going on okay so I'll meet you at the edge just before the corner okay you guys so we've reached the first corner I've done my last um, group I'm gonna do two chain I'm gonna come right in the center or you can do if you find it too tight for you where we have that two chain I'm gonna do one in the center where we have that one chain two and then on the other chain three so I've created my first little block here I think it's perfect that way I was trying to come up with new ideas uh, you know to turn these corners so and then you'd repeat the same thing in all three corners the same way okay so basically get to the last one two chain do one double crochet and one where the single is we did one chain between this the two singles and one double crochet on the next one and then just continue again to form your little blocks your little squares okay so I'll meet you at the corner again so I'm doing my last little block here before the corner your three double crochets two chain coming in that two chain we did with double crochet in the center between both singles double crochet and one on the next two chain okay two chain and create your block and do the same thing to the other two corners so it's just blocks of three double crocheting two chain basically except for the foundations of the hearts and now on the next row is just block over blocks right and we'll have our little corner turn perfectly okay so do the same on the other two and then I'll meet you where the heart is at Okay, everyone so I've closed in already with my sideways double crochet coming back in continuing to do the groups two chain now this time we are going to go on top of the um, of the double crochet Two chain we're gonna do one double crochet only two chain and on top of the double crochets one per stitch so we have 11 we'll be doing the 11 two inside the 11 again we'll have a total of 24 so we're continuing to do 
stitch over stitch. Just as I have here. And we'll be adding two inside of the space. So I've added two double crochet inside of the space and again continue one per stitch until we do the 11 double crochets here exactly how we started. So I have my 24 double crochets and now you proceed the same way with the two chain. Come inside of the first one here and do only one double crochet exactly how we did here. Chain two and create your little blocks of three double crochet per uh, space of the two chain. Two chain into the next one. And pretty much just all the way around the same way as we've been doing. So even when you get to the corner, we're just continuing to create those little blocks. But I'll meet you here so you don't get confused, okay? So we're pretty much reaching that curve. We're just doing blocks over blocks. Well, not over blocks in the two chain space. So on this one here, we have that one only, right? We've cut down. So you just continue to do the little blocks. Nothing special. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the end, done my little blocks all the way around. I'm doing that double crochet sideways. Coming in, doing my single, my two chains. We're going to repeat this row exactly the same way. Little blocks, two chain, and where we have the foundation of the heart, we're just going to repeat double crochet over double crochet. So here we have that one double crochet. We're going to do two inside, like that, and one on top. And we created our little block two chain going on top of that foundation of the heart and then doing just one per stitch the 24 double crochets stays the same on this row so that doesn't change we're going to continue to do that all the way to here and then we're going to do the double crochet and two double crochet inside so I'll meet you here okay so I pretty much did all my 24 double crochets, two chain, coming on top of that one double crochet and two inside and create my group of three double crochet. So it's exactly the same as this one. Then just continue to do your groups, two chain space and the three double crochets all the way around everyone so I pretty much closed in I went to measure by mine just to give you an idea more or less for the flusher um, handle and I know I have about two rows to do more so this is my corner and this is the distance between the flusher handle so after my two rows you need to measure yours put this on top of the cover and you can see how much rows you need to get to the edge of the handle. And, and then we, we need to leave an opening in order to get the handle through. So I've measured mine already. You can do yours. So I've closed in with the sideways uh, double crochet coming back in. Continuing my, my groups. Doing my two chains. So nothing changes until we get again to the pineapple, uh, pineapple, sorry, for the heart. So used to doing pineapples, okay? So we're reaching near the heart. I'm going to do my three double crochets here. We're gonna start to decrease now to shape the bottom of the heart. Chain two, I'm gonna skip one, two, 
and coming in the third one and doing one double crochet per stitch. We're also skipping the last three ones. Okay. So I should say we are skipping the last two exactly how we did at the beginning. We skipped the first two. So I have a total of 20 double crochets. Chain two, come inside of the space, create your groups, and now it's all groups all the way around again until we meet here. We're going to keep decreasing. Okay, so we're going to continue, and then I'll come back to you once I'm at the heart again to make sure that we are on the right track. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished my row. I did the sideways double crochet, went in, did my single two chains, my group, as we've been doing, nothing different. Two chains, my group, two chains, my group, until here. And now chain two, and skip the first two, and go into the third, and create the double crochets, one per space. So we're supposed to have 16 double crochets now on this one. We won't do the last two double crochets either. So I'm skipping the first two and the last two. Chain two and come into your space and create your blocks. Again, we're going to do blocks all the way around the same way as we've been doing until we meet again at the heart. And we are going to decrease again. Okay, so again, we're going to skip two at the beginning and two at the end. But I'll meet you here with my group and then skip and then continue on. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much reached the beginning of that first marker I did. So I knew I needed about two rows. And I do have my two rows. Now I'm going to leave a space open for the handle. So one, two, three, four. So four spaces here before I reach the end. I'm going to leave um, two or three space. I'm going to see if this is big enough. Okay, so I'm just going to do chain one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm not going to do chain. Because I will need two spaces open here. So what I'm going to do is This last group here, this last double crochet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two chain and come in and do a single like that. And then I'm going to do slip stitch. I think this is the best way to have that opening. I'm going to slip stitch my way through here. Sometimes I just have to think a little bit. Okay, so I have one, two, three groups. I'm going to come back in and do my three double crochets. And I'll be perfect this way. Chain two. I'm going to continue because I went to measure by mine, so it's more or less, and also by the measurements. Thank you, Lisa San Martino, and thank you, Roger Irwin <clears throat> with Lila or Irwin. Thank you so much for the measurements because I had them both check measurements for me to see if there was a big difference between uh, from one toilet to another. And actually, they're the same measurements, so perfect for me. So I've skipped one, two, three, but you need to take your measurements and see how many you need to skip, okay? 
So I've closed in. I'm going, actually, I'm going to do these sideways. I don't want to do more slip stitch here. I don't want a big mark. So I'm going to do the sideways this time in order not to be a big hole. Um, half double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to come in and create single to chain create my groups again. To chain and again. Create my groups. To chain and continue until the heart. We're going to skip the first two double crochets. So I've reached where I have the heart. I've done my group. I'm going to skip one, two, come into third one. And continue to do your double crochets, also skipping the last two double crochets. So I have 12 double crochets, chain two, and proceed again with your groups all the way around until we meet again here where we left off. Okay. So I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, you guys, I pretty much reach where I had cut off that opening. What I'm going to do is two chain and I'm coming on top of that double crochet we did going in. Remember, we did two chains and a single. So I'm going to do my little square there and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, Let's see if 12 is enough, 13, you have to see by your measurements, I'm going to do 14 and I'm going to come in on this one here and do a double crochet, we have to have this opening. And then chain two and come in, complete your little square, exactly your little three double crochet, exactly how we did on the other side. So it's going to leave that opening like that for the handle of the toilet tank. Two chain. Oops, I'm going to do the sideways. You can do a slip stitch and then do the walk with the, okay, so I'm going to do half only. I don't want a big opening there. I'm going to come back in and create my group again of three double crochets. So I'm going to continue all the way to the heart. I'm going to skip the first two double crochets at the heart and I'm not doing the last two. So we're skipping these two and skipping these two. We should have two, four, six, eight. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should have eight double crochets. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so I've reached the heart. I'm going to do my two chain. I'm going to skip one, two, come into the third. And I'm not doing the last two. So you should have a total of eight double crochets. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. And then can continue with your groups all the way to the end. And then I'll meet you at the end again. <clears throat> okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished doing that last one. Coming in doing two double crochets only. 
and one on top. Two chain. I'm going to skip one, two, on my third one, doing double crochet. Next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet. Two chain, skip one, two, on my third one. Oops, <clears throat> one per stitch. Two, three. Two chain. I'm going to come on top and do my two double crochets inside and my half sideways to close in. Okay. Come back in, create your groups. Of three, two chain, and I'll meet you here at the heart. Okay, so we reach the heart, two chain, skip the first two, and now we're going to have a total of four double crochets. chain and that's the closing of the heart and then proceed again with your groups all the way around so basically what I did here was pretty much cover the two groups where we normally would have covered here okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I've reached the end and I've closed in with my half double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do my normal group. So this row will be all about doing groups. The only difference is on this row, I'm going to do one chain. And on the next space, I'll be doing two chains. So I'm going to alternate. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want it to be too baggy on the tank. So now I'm going to do two chain. Again, create my group. The next space I'm going to do one chain only. But you, if yours is fine, you can continue at two chain. Okay, so I'm doing one chain again. So I'm just alternating so I can uh, bring the pattern in more together so it can have a nice fit. At the top was two chain because the top, the lid is always a little bit larger. It comes out of the tank, right? And the bottom is a little bit more in. So I'm going to do two chain and then one chain. I'm going to alternate two chain, one chain, two chain, one chain, all the way to the end. One chain. Two chain. And continue on, okay? So I'll meet you at the end of my row. I'm going to measure, see if I'm happy with the size it's at before I uh, change colors and go into the gray. Now, like I said, if it's fine for you, then, then leave it at your two chain. Okay, so we've reached where the four double crochets are. I'm still going to do two chain here and jumping because we have the four double crochets there. Or if you if it makes a big gap for you, if you think it's a big gap, 
then you can do your group this way. Do two double crochets and one on top. Do your two chain or your one chain, however you want to proceed, and on top of the next one, and then two inside. And you have your group just the same. I think this looks better. Sometimes you just have to play with it a bit. Okay, so I've done my two chain. I'm going to do one chain only. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I've done my half double crochet for the closing. And I'm going to start to create my other two hearts, my other two foundations. Okay, so I'm going to come in again and do my group. Two chain. And create again my second group to chain and my third group now the reason why I'm doing this uh, with the two hearts below the first one as I put this on the cover or on the water tank I notice my heart is way up to the top and I wanted it to be more centered, but I didn't know how many rows I needed to do. So no biggie. I'll just add two more hearts instead of just doing rows of groups. Two chain. I'm coming in this one and doing two double crochet only and on top of the double crochet so I'm creating seven exactly how we started with the other heart and two inside of the space here okay so basically from you know the square for the handle I have one two three groups which lands right on the one double crochet there that we did to chain I'm going to create a group Two chain and two double crochets only again and on top of the double crochets creating my seven okay I hope it's making sense to you to chain create your groups chain coming on the next one creating my group again so I'm going to create three groups to have enough space I actually have to do two here and on top yes because then that leaves me the three space there so two groups and create your seven double crochet so two inside of the space three on top and two inside again two chain and create your group two chain two double crochets and again on top so we'll have another seven here because it's two hearts so we need to divide them okay and then the rest is all groups that we're creating so we have four of the uh, seven groups that means uh, seven double crochets two space that means one group seven double crochets one two three space two groups seven double crochet two space and one group 
and then continue with your groups all the way to the end. So we're basically going to repeat what we've done here with the heart. So the next one is two inside, two inside. We'll have 11, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I finished my row. I did my half double crochet sideways. So I've closed in, did my single inside, two chain, created my group. Two chain, my group, one chain, my group. So I'm rotating one chain, two chain, one chain, two chain. I'm coming in where I have my seven double crochets. And I'm doing two inside of the space and one for each stitch. So I should have 11 double crochets. Now. This is just a repeat of the same thing as we did with the first heart. There's no point of keep recording. It will take too much memory when it's just a repeat. All you have to do is either rewind to the heart or just look at it at your heart and continue to do the same thing. So I'm going to do two chain here, coming in and doing my two double crochet inside continuing to do my 11 okay so we know that right after this 11 we're going to fill in the heart we're going to have three rows starting on the same uh, position so that's all you have to do is look at the other one two chain and I'm using two chain on these ones here to separate the hearts so I can give it some distance two chain and only when I'm building up the little groups again I'll alternate one chain two chain one chain two chain Okay, so I've done my spaces coming in, doing my 11 double crochets because we know it's two hearts that goes on here. Two inside of the space here, two chain, two inside of the next one creating my 11 and only when I'm done completely the two hearts then I'll come back to you when I have four double crochets left exactly how we have here on this one then I'll come back to you and we'll finish up the pattern and we should be at a good size for the tank it doesn't necessarily have to go all the way down to the tank it can leave a little bit of white of the tank out it will look nice also I don't plan to have it all the way down I mean if it does go down then it does go down if not then I'm happy with it okay so two chain and create your groups again and I'm going to alternate from here on one chain and then on the next one two chain and then one chain then two chain you know but like I said it depends up on your tension too right so this is what it's looking like and you can see that it's it's curved in quite a bit for the tank okay so I'll meet you at the end when I have four double crochets left on my heart on my both hearts okay okay guys just wanted to touch base here so you know exactly how we did here that one double crochet well we need to do here also now you're gonna arrive here and you're on top right so you got to do again two chain and another little square okay two chain and go on top so I didn't want you to get confused so it's always important to look ahead of the video no matter which creator you're watching from um, because things can be changed and Sometimes if you're just going with the flow and there's changes up ahead and we need to take down something, 
then you're going to, you know, not be too happy about it because you didn't look ahead and it's always best. In this case, there's nothing to take down, but, you know, if you watch ahead, then you know that we have to do this, right? So I'll show you once I am finished doing this one here. So two inside of the space, it's creating the same heart. It just changes up a bit here between them. And then one for stitch. So again, coming to the end here, we're going to do only one double crochet. Exactly how we did at the other heart and continue to create your groups. Okay, so just to make sure that you know, so when you get here, you have three little spaces in between both hearts. Okay. I'll meet you at the end. If there's anything changed or that I think I should come on, then I will. Don't worry about it. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much did my two hearts. And I'm at where we have the four double crochets. So now I'm going to come in with my gray. And I'm just going to start on the side here. So anywhere on the side, I'm going to do a single and two chain. This row will be all about double crochets. So where we have the double crochets, we're doing double crochet. Where we have the one chain or two chain, we're doing one double crochet just the same. and one per per stitch. One double crochet. Now, if it's pulling too much, you can do a two double crochet inside of the chain space. We don't want it to pull too much either, okay? I'm going to do one, but I'm not tightening up too much and I'm not loosening up too much either. So I'm just controlling my tension. We don't want it too baggy and we don't want it too tight. We want to be able to fit into the tank. So we're going to just do that all the way around. Just double crochets. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished with my gray coming in again with the red. And now we're going to build little hearts around it exactly like the rest of the set. So I'm going to start here just where I've cut my thread off on the side. doesn't matter really where you start. I'm going to do a single two chain. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to create a total of seven double crochets, one per stitch. I have three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to do chain three. I'm going to skip one, two, three, coming in my fourth and create seven double crochets again, one per stitch. We're going to do this all the way around the same way. So I'll meet you at the end. Two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, coming into my fourth. Now we might have to make an adjustment at the end. That's okay. Hopefully not. But if we do, no worries. Nothing we can't handle, right? So just like that, and I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the end and I had to make an adjustment on the last two. So instead of skipping three going into the fourth, I skipped two and went into the three. And again, the last one, the same thing. So very simple, nothing to it. 
I'm going to come into the, so I close in with slip stitch, obviously, and I come into the next one with a single two chain, double crochet. So we have two, three, four, and five. We don't do the first double crochet, and we don't do the last. I'm going to do one chain only. On my second chain, which is the middle from those three chains, I'm going to do three double crochets inside of the same stitch. If your tension is too loose, don't do any chain. You can go directly right into the next one. And then skip the first double crochet and do your five double crochets. We're going to do this all the way around the same way, all the way to the end. Five double crochets. One chain, skip the first, come in the center one, the second one from the three chains we did, and do three double crochets in the same stitch. One chain, and again, repeat the five double crochets. So we're going to do this until the end. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. Closed in with slip stitch, and now I'm going to do the walk again into the next one with a single two chains. So now on this row, we're going to have three double crochets, okay? No chain. Coming directly on my first double crochet from the three that I created. I'm doing two double crochet on the same space. On my second one, I'm doing three double crochet. And on my last one, I'm doing two. So I'm having a total of seven. Two on the first one, three on the second, and two on the last one. Coming directly again and doing my three double crochet, one per stitch. This is how this row is going to be all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row and closed in with the slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch to the first double crochet here. Single two chain. I'm coming in and doing another double crochet on the first double crochet. Next space, one alone. Next space, two together on the same stitch. Next space, one alone. Next space, two together on the same stitch one alone and on my last one two together on the same stitch so I have two on the same uh, stitch on the first one one alone two together one alone two together one alone two together total of two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven double crochets I'm coming in directly into the first double crochet and doing my two double crochets on the same space. One alone, two together. So now it's just a repeat the same way all the way around. One alone, two together. one alone, and two together. We are jumping directly into the next heart and repeat the process. Two together, one alone, two together on the same stitch, one alone, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I reach the end we have one more row left unless you want to do singles at the end of this last row coming up. So I'm going to skip um, one, two. On my third one, actually, so let's start like this. So we, we've closed in with the slip stitch. I'm coming back in between the two hearts where... We closed in with a single. I'm skipping one, two. On my third one, 
I'm going to do five double crochets. Three, four, and five. Skip one, two on my third one. A single. Skip one, two on my third one. Five double crochet. So we're pretty much closing this heart out. And then in be, uh, three, four, almost made a mistake there. <clears throat> and five. So five double crochets here. Skip two space into the third single. Skip two space into the third. Five double crochets in between heart again. So we've closed out our first heart. So one, two on my third one. Just repeat now. This uh, is not going to cover all the way to the bottom of the tank. I don't want it to. If I wanted to, then I would have continued in some of the blockage row, rows, which I didn't want. So skip two on your third single one, two on your third, five double crochets again. You can add singles at the end of this row if you'd like. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as is. I think there's plenty of action on here already. I'm going to complete my my flower of uh, my uh, hearts. I'm also going to add my flower and my two leaves like I have in all of the other patterns and I'll have it in display at the end so you can see what it looks like. So I want to thank every single one of you. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Sharing is caring. And please do give a thumbs up. It's extremely important. God bless you. I send you much love and much hugs. Until next time, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.